Hi guys, welcome back to our Kids and Money series. You want to be money smart? We are here to help. We are talking money goals. Moolah, 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 moolah. If you are new here, check out our playlist. That is a good place to get started. How much money do you have today? What do you want to do with your money? I have $5 in a piggy bank. And $15 I can't find. Do you have my money? How about saving money for something big? Of course anyone can spend money for gum and or a Tootsie Roll. But think about it. If you save your money, you would be able to buy something more expensive and more cooler than just a regular common Tootsie Roll. I want to buy a house, a hoverboard, and a car. Will you never spend money on fun things again? That is just ridiculous and totally unrealistic. We like to use this technique. Spend a little, save a little. Decide what it is and find out how much it costs and when do you want it. Be reasonable. You can't have a car until you are old enough to get a driver license and you can't have a PlayStation tomorrow if you have no savings. But let's say you want to save $200 in 10 months. That means you have to save approximately $20 a month. Save more and get it faster. Save less and it will take longer. Divide your allowance into two groups. Save and spend. Put your spend money to your wallet and put your save money someplace you can't get too easy. Check out our video about saving your allowance in the playlist. The link below or right here in the cards. You don't see it, you don't spend it. What is your goal? What next big thing would you buy? We want to know. Leave the answer in the comments down below. I want to save my money for a robot. He would look like me and go to school instead of me. Learn something new? Come back next week and we will be talking about saving money and spending money. Mula, mula. This is a great kids course. Share it with your friends, and if you haven't watched all the episodes yet, start from the beginning. Um, I'm actually helping my son save money to get a bike. He, wants, he really wants a bike, and being that we got him a bike when he was younger, we want to make sure he really wants it, so to get him to work towards it, I think it's going to make him want it so much more. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, so I guess the, a couple of pointers that I have for it is, um, my son knows how much he has to save, so we're going to match his we're gonna match it probably 75-25%. He's gonna save 25%. We're gonna match it 75%. Yeah. Usually it's 50-50 or yeah. How, how old is your son? He's six. So for, for him to save money, it's gonna take a little while. It's a big step though. So so we gotta we gotta make it worth it for him. Um, so right now he's been saving every single dollar the two fairies given him for his teeth. Wow. And I think he's trying to make him wiggle out a little faster so he gets more quicker, <laughs> but um, he's he saved all that. Um, he saved all his birthday money. Um, but one of the things that we started doing with him, or and he's really started to like, is he's doing like chores to make money. Uh -huh. So um, maybe one of the chores is fold, fold and put away his laundry, and that might be worth a dollar. Uh -huh. So he's learning to like make money to save for what he wants. Yes. The first thing that we can do is to save a toothpaste money. Yes. That's a big one. The second one is the birthday money. The birthday money. Then there is ask the parents how you can help around the house. Yes. And see if they would like to pay for it. Yes. Especially, you know, let's say they are paying for a cleaning lady to, you know, clean the course. Maybe you can do this. Yes. And this is an excellent way to make some money so you can save for something big. 